Okay guys, so here's another limiting reactant um, example. Uh, so in this question, they're telling you uh, that you have 1.39 moles of H2 uh, and 3.44 moles of N2. Um, and it's asking how many grams of ammonia can you make from these two products or these two reactants. And then it's saying how many grams of the reactant are left over once the reaction's carried out. Um, so basically what it's asking us to do here is to figure out um, the amount of product that we can make, figuring out which one of these is the limiting reactant, and then finally figuring out how much excess we have left over. Um, so let's get started. Um, I thought this question was a good uh, chance for us to practice writing out some uh, equations. So they give us the two reactants and the products. So let's write down our two reactants. So we know we're reacting H2 with N2, and we're going to be forming ammonia, so NH3. Um, you can tell by glancing at this, though, that it isn't really balanced. Uh, we have three hydrogens and two hydrogens on this side. Um, so what I like to do when I balance equations is to make something like this. Um, so on our, on our uh, reactant side, we have two nitrogens and two hydrogens. On our product side, we have one nitrogen um, and three hydrogens. Um, so we need to make this all balance out. Um, I'm going to try to balance the nitrogen first, uh, so I'm going to put a 2 over on this side. Um, that's going to balance out our nitrogens, but it's going to adjust the number of hydrogens that we have. Uh, so now we have 6 over here, 2 times 3. Uh, so finally we have to balance out the number of hydrogens as well. Um, so we know that over on this side we have to put a 3. Um, so once again, 2 times 3 is 6. So this is our balanced reaction. Um, that's really important to make all of this work out. Um, the next step we should do is to write down uh, our given information. So once again, they tell us that we begin with 1.39 moles of H2, uh, 3.44 moles of N2. And it's asking how many grams of product. So question mark, how many grams? Um, and then additionally, it's asking, um, so once again, this is moles, it's asking how much is left over um, over here on our reactant side? So these are the two things that we're solving for. Um, let's get started. Um, so just like last time, we need to figure out what runs out first. What runs out first? That's going to be our limiting reactant. So we're going to take each one of these reactants, react them all the way, and see how many grams of product we end up getting. Um, and that'll help us solve our first question. So. Let's start out with our first one. So we have 1.39 moles of H2. Um, and we want to figure out how many grams of product. Uh, so we're going to go from moles of H2 to moles of our product here. So for every three moles of H2, we're going to end up with two moles of ammonia. And then uh, once again, it's asking for grams. So we just want to change our moles of ammonia into grams. So for every one mole of ammonia, there's however many grams of ammonia. And like I said, we'll solve for this in a moment, uh, but for now we'll leave it. I just want to get everything set up. Um, the next thing we have to do is to look at our other reactant. So we're going to say 3.44 moles um, of N2. Uh, once again, we're going to convert this into products. So for every one mole of N2, um, there's going to be two moles of product. Two moles of ammonia, and similar story here. We have to go to grams. So, one mole of ammonia is however many grams of ammonia. Um. Okay. So let's. Yeah. The next thing we should do, we should figure out what this is. So, uh, let's go to our periodic table. Uh, we want to figure out the molar mass of this guy. Um. So the molar mass for nitrogen is fourteen point something. I had it written down here. Point. 14 point, I think, zero, zero, 007. Okay. So once again, this is straight from your periodic table. So this is an implied one out in front because there's one nitrogen. Um, and then there's three hydrogens. So once again, mass of hydrogen, number of hydrogens. This works out to be 17.031 grams per mole. So that's where the molar mass of the ammonia is coming from. Uh, so let's plug that in here. So 17.031. 
Um, once again, like I said, uh, practice typing this into your calculator. Um, I did it ahead of time, though, uh, for the video. So uh, the first one comes out to be 15.8 grams NH3. Um, and the second one comes out to be 117.7 grams NH3. Um, so the question we have to ask ourselves here is, what's our limiting reactant? Which, which one's going to run out first? Um, and the answer is always the smaller one. Uh, so you can see here, um, with the 1.39 moles of H2, we were only able to form 15.8 uh, grams of NH3. Uh, we had a lot more um, with our nitrogen, uh, but we're going to run out of H2 first. So this is how many grams of ammonia we're going to be able to make. So that answers our first question. I'm going to slide this up a little bit. So the next thing it's asking is how many grams of reactant are left over? Um, so grams of reactant left over. Um, so the first thing we need to realize is that H2 is used up completely. So that that's our limiting reactant. We're not going to have any excess H2. So what it's really asking is how much N2 is left over. So how much N2 left over? Um, and the way to answer this is basically to figure out how much N2 we started with and how much N2 was used up. So we have to figure out both of these things and then we'll be able to answer our question. Um, so let me, I'm going to move this up a little bit yeah, so I have some more space to write with. Um, so the first thing we should do, let's figure out how much N2 we started with. Uh, so once again, it wants this quantity in grams. Um, so let's just convert the moles that we had to grams. Um, so once again, we started off with 3.44 moles of N2. Um, and we just want to know for every one mole of N2, how many grams of N2 were there? Uh, this is, once again, you get this from the periodic table. Um, let me just do it over here. So nitrogen was 14.007. Uh, and you multiply this by 2, and it equals 28.014 grams per mole. This is the N2 molar mass. So let's plug that in. 28.014. Um, so this is how many moles you started with, and this ends up being uh, 96.4 grams of N2. So this is how much we started with. Now we want to know how much N2 was used up. Um, so to do that, we are going to have to look at our limiting reactant. Um, so the only information we have about how much we used up is that we we used up 1.39 moles of H2. Um, from our reaction, we can figure out how many moles of N2 we used up. Uh, so let's our balanced reaction once again was that for every three moles of H2, one mole of N2 was used up. Um, and then finally, we can also change this into grams. So one mole of N2 uh, is the same as above here, so 28.014 grams of N2. Um, and what we end up with here is that we used up only 12.98 12, 12 grams, basically, um, around 13 grams, so N2. Once again, this is what we started with, and this is what we used up. So to get the remaining, all we have to do is subtract these two. So we'll write it down just to be definite. So remaining is equal to how much you started with for your initial n minus the used up quantity. Um, so when you subtract this number and this number, what you end up getting is around 83.4 grams of N2. Um, so that's how to think about 
uh, limiting reactants and how to find out how much excess is left over.